What's up guys? Welcome back to Party On Forever. I'm Andy and this is Choppers for Dummies. If you haven't seen episode two or episode one, get up right here, 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 check them out, dude. You gotta watch those before you watch this one. In this episode, we tackle carb, manifold, and exhaust. We put brand new lowbrow shotgun pipes on here. We rebuild an entire CV carb from scratch, and uh, we have to put a new manifold on. But before we get into it, Please check out my merch store. Go over to partyonforever.com and see what we got. We, of course, have the Sportster Daddy shirt. Got a certified Fork Daddy shirt. It says, certified to fork you the fork up, mother forker! Forker! That's for all my certified Fork Daddies out there. That one's good. The way I'm able to keep doing these things is with your support. So if you like what we're doing, please pick up a shirt. Let's get back into it. As you can tell, I've already done the work, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. First things first, we've gotta put a new manifold on here. You need the manifold that looks about like this. Then you're gonna have some flanges. Pay attention that this one says F for front, and this one says R for rear. So make sure you put those in the correlating spots and you're also gonna need the gaskets. So this is your intake gasket from the carb body to the manifold. Then you got two of these little uh, gasket guys that go from the manifold to the heads. So we're gonna put this bad boy together right now. Tell the truth, shame the devil. And that's it. That's what you're looking for right there. Uh, you got your gasket on the front, on the mouth there. What you'll do is you'll put this flange on first. It's got a, a lip in here that's gonna receive this gasket here. So you put the front flange on, then you put this gasket on in place. It's gonna move around a little bit. You do the same with the rear, and then it's gonna go right in here. So I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna find that there are slotted holes here and then a regular hole up there. The slotted ones are for the bottom fasteners. That is to keep those fasteners already there and slot it in place. I have taken a Allen key that's a little cut off, you'll see. It's just a little bit shorter than your standard Allen key. You're gonna need that to get into here and get this angle and get those uh, fasteners in place. This is one of my least favorite jobs actually. It's just, you know, for fat fingers, it's not that great of a time. Got those fat fingers, fingers, fingers. Pay attention for leaks. You want this to seat Perfect and nice and great. You can't have any intake leaks or you will have to tear all this shit apart. There's nothing more a bummer than tearing down uh, all this stuff and have to take the tank off and the carb off and everything to get to that manifold. So do it right the first time. We're gonna take the SNS card that was on here and put it on a 69 shovel head. And so we had to put, we had to build, I had to build, I had to build, I had to build a CV card from a few bodies that I had laying around. A few dead bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. A few dead CV car bodies, baby. Baby, baby. Anyway, check it out. So now we're gonna put this bad boy back together. We'll start by putting the uh, like vacuum diaphragm area back together. I think that's what it's called. I don't know the names of any of this shit. 
And if uh, you want to know the names, look it up on the internet. I'm not the internet, I'm just a guy on the internet. You know what I mean? Then, you got your needle. And the needle's got a hole that's got to live in. It's going to go way deep down. Then you got this guy. It's going to go in there too. The spring, and then you got the cap. You got your float bowl assembly area. This is a little collar that uh, it's going to slide down in that little hole right there where the needle is. If you're running something like a drag pipe that has no baffles, you're going to want a free or flowing fuel like jet, right? So I'm going to put a 190 in there and start from there. I think that'll work pretty well, but we'll do 190 as a main jet. And then we're going to do a 48 as a pilot jet. You know, we'll not have to play around with it, but I think that will do what we want it to do. We don't want to run in too lean. We want to run it just right. After we get the jets in there, Benny in the jets. Then we're going to need to put the float in there. So you find your float. You find your little plunger guy. You're gonna have to set your float adjustment by bending that tab right there. If you tilt to about 10 degrees, that line's gonna be parallel with that line of the case, and it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, so if you hold her about flat, it's gonna hang out probably about 45 degrees or so. So that's a pretty good set right there. We're gonna call that good. So here's your float bow. Then you're going to have this bad boy, which is the accelerator pump. Accelerator pump, baby. And then you got a spring that goes here. This is your little uh, gasket that goes in right there. We messed up. You see this guy right here? <sighs> Ricky mistake. It's supposed to go on the float bowl. It's supposed to go in that hole of the float bowl right there. Look, man. We're always messing up. We're always learning. So we have to take this float bowl back off. You can leave that accelerator pump on. That's okay. Not a big deal. Um, who was watching, put down in the comments below if you were watching and you saw that happen and you knew I was messing up. Go ahead, brag on yourself a little bit. Tear me down, let me know. It's okay, I could edit this part out and uh, make myself look great. I'm not going to, so what's the fun in that? your fuel mixture screw then you put a spring on it then you got a washer on it and then there is a a round gasket a little rubber guy but it's still in here actually it didn't come out when I took this apart but you want to know that that's there if you have any questions whether it's there or not you know put a flashlight down in there and make sure that it's it's in there so anyway you want to seat that uh, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but there's a little tiny hole with the tip of that needle sticking out. And then we're going to back it out about two and a half turns. That's a good starting point. So that is mixing how much fuel versus how much air is in there. So if we were to tighten it all the way up, that's cutting the gas off. If we were to take it all the way out, 
that's flooding the gas. You tighten it up, then you back out about two and a half, and then if you're not getting enough fuel, if the bike's running lean, then you would back it out, meaning that you turn it left, lefty loosey, righty tidy. So left means more gas, right means more air, less gas. But anyway, that's a good starting spot right there. Then you got this bad boy right here. It goes in this hole right here. Ask me what that thing does. I'm not gonna tell you because I don't really know. It does something. Last up is your choke. We are running a gravity petcock, so I'm going to cap that off um, and get rid of that vacuum line because you don't need it. Ditch the bows. So between the three of them, I was able to Frankenstein together one that will do the job. That's what you're looking at here. We still got the choke dangling. Dingle, dingle. Still got the choke dangling, waiting on that bracket. And while I was putting the car together, I realized that I don't even have a bracket to hold this to the motor. So that's something that I'm gonna have to get, but lowbrow, Pangea, TC Bros, um, Throttle Addiction, everybody makes an aftermarket bracket to hold this carb onto this motor. Uh, they're easy to find. And then, of course, the This is the lowbrow shotgun exhaust pipe. So, pull her up, and it's everything you need. It's your two pipes, your uh, bracket, and a couple bolts and nuts to get the job done. This is your bracket that you're gonna use to attach at the back of the rear bottom motor mounts. These are the bolts that you're gonna use to attach this to these. And then here's your two pipes, your rear pipe and your front pipe. They sell them so you can use your original flanges off your original pipes, but I bought brand new flanges because it's never a bad idea to start with new. Um, and then you got your retaining springs. Show you how to put these on real quick. If you're using the ones off your uh, stock pipes that you have on your bike now, just do this process in reverse. But put this uh, flange on where this retaining ring is going to live inside that little groove right there. Put that guy on and then you should get you some little um, reverse pliers basically that just open these guys up and you do that. Boom. Simple enough. So that's how that'll look when you put it on your pipe. And then we'll do this one as well. So let's uh, put them on. You're gonna take your bracket that they supply you with and you're gonna put her in this way, like with the tab sticking up, it's gonna go in and bolt exactly to the back of the motor mount where you took those bolts out. I spared you me pulling these bolts out because it's not a good fun time. It's not a good fun time to put them back in, I bet. Okay, I skipped all the moaning and groaning of me putting this thing on. It's fairly simple, but there's just in the way. So you're gonna take off the top two rear motor mount bolts. Uh, there's nuts in the front. Make sure you got a magnetic guy to hold on to the nuts so they don't fall. Put this guy on, put the bolts back in. All right, we're gonna get this rear pipe put on. You just put this guy on the flange on the, on the, uh, what do you call those studs? We got one of them on! Just rinse and repeat on the front.
six bolts, six nuts, not that hard, but it's just tight and uh, time consuming trying to get into all the little crevices and crevices. So uh, just know that you're gonna get dirty and you're gonna cuss a little bit trying to put those on, but um, they look freaking great, right? And we're done, dude, for today. We're never done, done, but we're done for today. Um, that's your manifold, your car, your uh, your freaking exhaust. So, this is it, man. Keep on short and party on forever. comments below if you are turned on by uh, my manliness, my majestic singing, and my beautiful physique and beard. Let me know if you think uh, I got a good thing going on. I'm thinking about trying to lose some weight this year. <sighs> I think about death a lot, right? And I'm 39. It might be hard for you to believe that. I probably look about 23, really, if I had to guess. If I looked at a picture of myself and said, how old's that guy? I'd say 23, probably, maybe 22. Um, but I'm 39 and I'm gonna die, probably, because I'm like 300 pounds and uh, it scares me. So anyway, I've been thinking about losing some weight, but that's a whole nother series of videos, probably, right? Um, if you're fat and you like being fat, let me know. If you're fat and you don't like being fat, Comment below telling me what you're gonna do in 2021 to stop being fat, right? So anyway, if you like what we're doing here, please click subscribe, like, hit the little ding, 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 ding bell, and uh, comment and let me know what I'm doing right and let me know what I'm doing wrong. 